So hello all, welcome to MIT AU Placement Cell. I am Ayush and I'm here with Gargi and uh, we'd like to welcome Gopal. Uh, uh, we are going to interview him and uh, uh, congratulations Gopal for the placement. Thank you Ayush. And uh, Gargi, you can go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, Dada, can you please uh, tell me that in which company have you got placed? So I have been placed in Barak Group and uh, yeah. And means what is the role of you in that company, like your job so profile and all that? I've been, I've been placed in this company for the role of graduate engineer training. And uh, uh, my role will be uh, mostly uh, in the field of research and development, as well as uh, there, uh, there might be some uh, plan, uh, means like in field-based work. Uh, I might have to go to the plant where the manufacturing has been done, and uh, I might learn something there as well. Okay, and like uh, from getting placed, uh, like from technical inter uh, technical round and from till interview, means how was the process? Uh, how were the questions and all the process from okay. uh, interview itself uh, till you get the job? So first, uh, we had three rounds for the uh, placement, and the first round was uh, the aptitude test. In aptitude test, I think there was there were uh, two. Uh, Two rounds. First was the basic uh, aptitude rounds uh, in which there was English, English ability. Uh, after that, logical and quantitative. And the questions were like uh, basics to intermediate level, and uh, all the questions were related to core. That is uh, my uh, my field, that is electronics. And uh, after that, the second round was uh, totally based on technical, uh, which contained uh, uh, many questions related to the subjects we have uh, I have had uh, in my college. Yeah, and after that, uh, the second uh, round was the technical interview. Uh, it was about uh, it was about uh, one and a half hours, and uh, uh, I've been asked all the questions related to electronics, uh, basic electronics, as well as some uh, electrical related questions. And uh, after uh, after that round, the next day I had my HR interview round, and in which uh, I got questions uh, related to uh, some personal uh, personal questions as well as uh, some. Questions related to the company. Okay, and like uh, before that, like before entering your in your BTEC, which courses have you applied? Which helped you in get uh, getting good placement? Okay, so the courses uh, you mean uh, uh, from outside? College. Yeah, external yeah. courses. External courses. So I've been doing uh, a course uh, uh, related to uh, uh, programming languages, uh, uh, mainly uh, the uh, language the Python. The courses related to Python, and I did a specialization course of, of uh, which included five courses, uh, or um, named as Python for your reading. Uh, it was offered from Coursera, and also uh, one of the course I did was uh, uh, related to embedded Linux, uh, which was offered by Vodafone. Yeah, and these two were the main courses I did in the past year. What did the extracurricular activity played in your life, like uh, in developing your personality and other communication skills? Okay. So I've been uh, uh, going for events. Uh, so I have also managed some of the events in my from my diploma itself. So I managed uh, uh, event uh, related to robotics. And also so I have participated in the, uh, those contests, uh, that's those events. So they helped me to understand the practical knowledge, how things work. And also the main, uh, the main thing which helped me was uh, I was keen in uh, practical knowledge. Means I have been doing uh, my uh, doing work since uh, my childhood. Like I have been playing with, playing with electronic stuff. So I got a lot of knowledge from that. And it also even it even helped me in my interview, technical interview, as the questions were very much related to the same things which I used to do uh, from my childhood. I mean, sir, in the past few years, I've well. done any internships uh, uh, before placement. Before placement, uh, I have done two internships. Uh, okay. One was offered by Cognizant. Uh, it was a four month internship, I think, in mm -hmm. which uh, I got to learn about uh, different programming languages such as Java, uh, C, C Sharp, uh, as well as uh, RDBMS and uh, web development. Okay. And before that, I did an internship uh, at EdGate. And this is which was offered from a college itself. 
and mm-hmm. um, in in which i uh, learned about uh, some microcontrollers arm microcontrollers okay yeah so these are the two internships i did so these internships helped you in placement yeah definitely because uh, i got to learn about some language coding languages as well and before applying for varok i did apply for other companies as well which were related to computer and it mm-hmm. and while giving all those exams it did help me a lot and also the uh, internship from uh, edgate it helped me for this uh, in, uh, for the all the rounds in varok okay okay so talking about uh, that uh, aptitude round uh, you said you have na yeah so what was the level of the questions like it was uh, tough or um, it was okay type yeah uh, some of the questions in the second round in that aptitude test were uh, pretty much tough as uh, all of them were related to uh, all the uh, circuits we uh, circuits we used to miss and uh, learn all the subjects we had Uh, mm-hmm. such as control systems uh, we had a subject in ms control systems also uh, circuit theory related questions and uh, after that we even had uh, some questions uh, in, in quantitative uh, test there were some uh, tough questions as well okay yeah okay and okay. one more is there like uh, what cgpa have you maintained from your second year till final year final year okay. so as i am a lateral entry student so from a second year second year itself i have been maintaining above it uh cgpa but uh, just uh, in one of, one of the sims i got a little, little bit less uh, uh i think about 7 7 point of yeah okay okay so uh, we'll end up here and uh, thank you gopal for your time and uh, gargi uh, thank you uh, you also you have done a very good job okay. and uh, Thank you.